Hello and welcome back to a new episode of Sigmar's Colonization. I'm Harry Mala, and in the last episode we started a brand new adventure of forming a colonial nation in a new world. Uh, our tradesmen just reappear on the map, returning from the Netherlands with a, a bit of trade goods, uh, because I have a, a scheme plotted and well, let's see if it's actually going to work. Because I really would like to get uh, another tile here, uh, precisely this one with the specific tree resource, which is currently occupied uh, by the Indians. Basically, these three tiles are uh, in our settlement are, in fact, still uh, land of the Arawak. But we really need that tree resource. So I'm basically going to, um, let's say, um, let's put it bluntly, we occupy it without paying it because they want a lot of money for it. Let's, let's check and check it out. We're going to put our farmer here. Now the chief is going to tell us, yeah, you're pre uh, trespassing on Aramag land. We patiently ask that you leave immediately. Uh, we can even leave and then uh, restore um, the current order. Uh, we can offer him 650 cash for the land. Or we're saying, no, you're mistaken. This is our land now. Um, and now I'm trying to... Um, do a little scheme here and see if it works. I'm not quite sure, um, because that's a very long time since I played this game last time. Uh, I'm going to be rude and uh, occupy the land and immediately afterwards uh, go in with the trade vessel into the village and actually give them the trade goods for free. Uh, basically we paid 150 for that. So my idea is maybe we can uh, persuade them to you know, remain friendly or become friendly again if we give them presents after we took something from them. So now basically we just can take the land and we don't have any immediate consequences yet, but they may attack us. So let's actually head into the alien uh, village. Um, you're a fisherman. Yeah, we need you in the town, dude. We need you. Because now we have docks. Docks means we can actually uh, engage in fishing. And look at that, 12 food straight away. Uh, he can produce six here. He can produce six here, which is already a lot. And 12 on the specific resource, which is great because now we have a, a huge surplus production. Now I'm going to uh, send this guy here because now we can get way more wood than before and this dude probably will support the carpenter. And we're going to build, uh, let's see, a stockade would be a good idea. I think we're going to build a lumber mill first, right. Increase the production, it's basically an upgrade. We can upgrade all these buildings here uh, to increase the production. And of course, we need a, a carpenter as soon as possible. A professional carpenter, because these guys don't know really what they're doing. Not really. Okay. So far, so good. Let's head to the village. Uh, your expedition has reached the village of Arvax. A band of warriors eyes you warily. The others are nowhere to be seen. Trade with the village. Yeah, there you see, he doesn't look very happy, does he? <laughs> no. He, he doesn't look that happy. We see that you have brought some excellent trade goods to trade with us. We offer you 73 in exchange. Um, and now we can actually uh, haggle with them. But I'm going to give them for free because we just taking a bit of land of them. Precious land. And I'm trying to um, convince them to be friendly again. Now this trade goods be your gift to you. And look at that, he's smiling again. We are in, in need of tools and rum. Perhaps you will bring some next time you come to trade with us. Even cloth will be so, of some value. So basically he tells us in this village, they want tools, rum and cloth. And we can actually buy stuff from them. Uh, yeah, well, uh, how about a little bit of tobacco? We fill your, your holes of 12 tobacco in exchange for 89. A fair price will be 49. Yeah, okay, we'll gladly pay uh, 74. And I think this is going to work. 
The Ara Club is pleased to see the progress of your neighbors at New Amsterdam. We've come to offer you six tobacco in recognition of your everlasting peace between your peoples. I think it worked. I think it worked. Now let's go to New Amsterdam and see what we can load into our ship's hull. Um, not much, actually. Not really. Uh, but that's not an issue. Okay, we have a road now here. Um, we could improve the production here because roads increase the production by two uh, for pretty much all goods. That is, I think, furs, uh, lumber, iron, uh, silver, and the food production is, of course, increased by plowing. Hmm. Well, <clears throat> um, that's a good question. Actually, we're going to send. Are you a, a specialist? No, you're not a specialist. Hmm. He's not a specialist. We could plow the field and then uh, produce cotton here. That's also an option. Uh, I think the first thing we're going to do is going to build a road. Deeper into the continent because we're going to build a city in a short while. And a good road connection is very, very important. Okay. Off we go to Amsterdam. Right, let's build a road here as well. And our rock bring us no presence. Sweet. Okay, now we have nothing to do. Fall to one. We should buy muskets. Unload all the cargo. Okay, now we have a free fellow here. Basically, uh, we can recruit people and this is completely random uh, what is generated here. We can basically um, passage for 220 gold and we could get a seasoned scout or a master carpenter. Of course, we're going to get the master carpenter. And for 240, uh, the seasoned scouts because they have horses and they are basically a very uh, useful unit. And then we get some indentured servants, free colonists, indentured servants. Indentured servants and criminals are basically um, the bottom of the society. They are not even free colonists. They cannot be trained. They have to be reach a free colonist status first. Uh, there's later on a, um, a founding father who will um, basically remove their penalty. But for now, I think I'm going to turn this fellow um, into a missionary. Now he's a crazy, uh, basically a semi-professional quack uh, who is going to uh, bring the faith, the true one faith, to the Christian, uh, to the Indians. So uh, yeah, maybe they will actually become uh, even better friends and join our settlements as, as converts. Okay, now we have 650 cash left. We can purchase artillery, for example. We can also buy ships if we have the money. We can train people. Uh, I would like to get a lumberjack pretty soon. We need 700 for that. Or we could buy guns. They're pretty cheap actually. What are the tools? Tools are all very cheap. We need tools to build advanced buildings. Uh, and guns of course to yeah shoot people, obviously. <laughs> of course. Uh, or we could... Yeah, now they want tools. Let's ask, let's buy the tools. And buy some more tools. And then we can... Yeah, let's take these two guys and this, the third one will have to wait. Yes, there he actually goes. Because the Indians want tools so we can sell it to them with profit. And probably to the other village as well. But we want to keep some tools uh, for ourselves because we need them to upgrade very soon. And there we go, the next road is finished. They use 20 tools each operation, so you will run out of tools pretty soon. Okay, now let's drop off these guys. Now we have an expert carpenter. 
who is actually way more proficient in building stuff, so we will speed up the uh, production here. Um, this guy is going to explore, he's a, basically a professional explorer. Actually, I made a mistake right there, yeah. Ah, we cannot store more than 100 goods. Unless we have a, um, unless we have a, yeah, unless we have a um, warehouse, that is. So I'm going to load in the first, I'm going to sell the tools and I keep the other stuff in the ship, basically. Yeah, because we need the wood, we need the food, and these three guys are supposed to work as fast as possible to build a lumber mill, to get the stuff going. Uh, now we could... Uh, go to New... No, actually not to New Amsterdam. Let's just use it our, by hand. I'm one on a build a road here. And this fellow here is now exploring. We can manually explore a little bit or uh, um, send him out basically on his own. Now we're going to speak with the chief and he's going to tell us something. Uh, we are peaceful villagers with masters for sugar planters. That's important. You can train us for sugar planters. We're glad to trade if you bring us some Badly need tobacco, we we'll also pay well for tools and trade goods. And they're going to tell us something of the Nibel lands. So we know we can sell tools here as well, that's great. Oh no! Governor Harry of Allah, in honor of a recent wedding to her first wife, we have graciously decided to raise your tax rate by 1%. The tax rate is now 1%. You make, uh, if you wish, kiss our ra a royal pinky ring. Yeah, kiss the picky ring because uh, otherwise we were going to lose a lot of tools and we cannot trade tools anymore. Basically, this is an, um, an increasing difficulty. The longer the game lasts, the higher the tax rate will be and the less we will earn from our sellings or trades in Europe. We can instead uh, say to the king yes, or to the stadtholder, basically, screw yourself, we're not going to pay the taxes and then these goods will be uh, unable, we will be unable to trade with these goods in Amsterdam. Uh, and since we need the tools really, really bad and we cannot produce them on our own yet, we have to kiss the pinky ring. What a pity indeed. So now you are going to this Indian village here, trade with your village and we're selling 100 tools. And look at that, we graciously accept 640. We bought them for 200, right? Uh, we, we actually haggle a little bit. And now we get 730. Yep, we accept that. Now we need rum, cloth, and even cigars. Uh, nothing right now, thank you. Okay, this fellow here is going to build a road on this resource, so increase the production. And you scout. Um, I think I'm going to send you over to the other village there. Basically explore a little bit the landscape. Lumber mill has been built in New Amsterdam. Now the production is doubled. Hmm. I think we're going to build a warehouse next. Or, or maybe, um, no, actually we're going to build uh, a wagon train first. It's fast to build. And it can also act as a, uh, as a storage, basically. Great, and then we should start actually producing something that is worthwhile selling, I guess. Yep, that's true, I know. Okay, we could send him to the other village there, because they also want tools. Luckily, they are on the coastal tile, so I can reach them with the ship. Otherwise, we'll have to send a wagon train. I'm hopeful, and hopefully they don't get pissed off by the road here. That's a potential. But we want to increase the production. Now let's talk with this chiefdom here. We're expert fishermen. Great. We're glad to trade with you if you bring us some badly needed rum, coats and tools. The Arawak welcomes the emissaries of the Dutch tribe. Please take these valuable beads worth 216 back to your chiefdom. Oh, no, how nice. And they bring us more gifts. Well, that's great. Now let's trade with these guys. Trade to the village. 100 tools. Wow! They pay a lot. Uh, a fair price would be 13 30. Yeah. We graciously accept 11, 1142. Now they want tobacco and trade goods. We can buy trade goods. Um, 
nothing thank you right now. Wow. Now we have a lot of cash. Now we can trade another expert fisherman over here because I'm not sure if we... Uh, I think we can only train once per village. I'm not quite certain. But we need another expert fisherman. We can trade them ourselves later on. But for now, we'll do it with the Indians. Okay, now we have a wagon train. We can use it as a basically as a storage uh, if he stays in the town. And we can actually um, probably build a second one. Because it's pretty quick. Yeah, let's build a second one. But, oh, we're running out of wood, right? Ran out of wood. Now, let's see. Maybe we want to send off this guy. Uh, found a new settlement. Hmm. Or we could, yeah, basically steal this mountain. So we can produce ore. Huh. Is there any other source of ore nearby? Not really. Except for this mountain and this mountain here. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to build another settlement back here. Definitely want to build one right here. And then maybe one back there. Or the problem here. I don't see many ore resources. Anyways, we're going to send you uh, back to Amsterdam. We're going to a little bit on exploring here. Wow. Wow, okay, there is the ore. There is the ore. Ooh, that looks juicy. That's a quite a bit of a trip, but we can do it. It's possible. Okay, now we need to ch actually do something here with these fellows. Um, can I produce more food? Which probably not a bad idea, because once we've reached a, cert a certain surplus, uh, there will be a new settler generated, basically. The population increases on its own. Um, yeah, let's actually do this, we could actually pay them or, yeah, we pay them, 500, we can, we can pay it, now we can produce ore here, we can either sell the ore or uh, use it for tool production, because we earned so much money through dealing that we can actually afford it, because right now we have 1800 cash. That's a lot. And they keep bringing us presents left and right. So, we can afford to be nice to them. Does pay off. <gasps> oh, this is great. There's another coastal tile. So, we reach the other coast basically. Oh, this is interesting. Yeah, can we do something with you right now? Not really. Now we're going to put you in sleep mode. To chill out, basically as an extra storage in case we need it. Okay. Now let's see what we can recruit. Through. A settler? No. We're going to buy more tools, definitely. Now the tools price has increased. Not a biggie, not an issue. They wanted uh, trade goods, but maybe we should uh, train somebody first. Right, we definitely need lumberjacks for 700. They are really worth the money. We could uh, hire another settler for 260. Uh, let's see, what do we need? We need more, more carpenters. Hmm. We don't need artillery yet. Maybe another free colonist. Yeah. And what's next? Petty criminals and dirt, uh, dirt servants. Yeah, we, we, we get crap, really, really crappy. Really, really crappy units. Uh, we could actually equip them with tools for another 300. And with horses. Uh, yeah, let's equip them with tools, so we have even more tools, uh, basically we could have equipped, uh, I don't think we can equip these guys, oh yes we can, yeah, that was 
basically you can either carry them in the in the ship's bow for muskets for example or horses or tools or you can actually equip the people themselves completely forgot about that that's a that's a nice feature you can you equip these guys with guns and and whatnot probably not the best that you've equipped the indians with guns right now <laughs> probably not big question is i can i cannot give it to this guy right now i cannot sadly yeah so let's just be on a merry way Right, now we have a road back to this Indian village. They probably get a little bit salty about it because, yeah, you know, suddenly having a road uh, in front of your uh, TP is probably not something you're used to. But now uh, the production of wood is increased. And when we get our expert lumberman, expert lumberjack in here, basically we're gonna make a tooltip check here. Uh, the lumberjack produces six, road river plus two is eight. Uh, plus prime timber is 12 and expert uh, multiplied by 2 so it's going to produce 24 because this guy is producing 12 right now so yeah 24 wood is a lot that's awesome so we can actually sustain the production build another wagon train uh, and then keep cranking out you know buildings improve the infrastructure and see that we are actually going to create a second settlement speaking of which uh, what else can we do in the settlement? Right, we should go up. No, 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 no. We cannot send you anywhere. We're going to send you here. We're going to build another road. Right. Oh boy. Um. Yeah, probably a settlement here, for example, on the coast, coastal tile. And that's basically this wood, wooded area. Only one mountain. I will see. We shall see. Where we, we're going to expand. Now you're going to build a road right here. And you're going to talk to the chief. Expert farmers. They want coats, tobacco or tools. Oh, and there is something. Oh, great. Thank you. They told us about an island next to the continent. Uh Oh interesting, but I'm not allowed to have more wagon train or colony. I didn't know that. Well that's interesting. Uh clear orders. I'm going to wake him up. And park him outside the settlement, no biggie. So you are going to build a road right here. And you are going to follow the river. No, 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 don't attack the Avrox. No, no, no. Right, we're going to put you in sleep mode here. Should be fine. Ah, oh, my bad, my bad. I completely misread that. Oh, we're limited to the number of colonies. Bloody hell. Um, a schoolhouse would be nice, church would be nice, blacksmith shop would be nice, everything would be nice. I think we had with the schoolhouse. A schoolhouse will uh, enable us to teach people basic skills. For example, farming or lumberjacking. I think it's called woodcutting, but anyways. <laughs> So, um, this fellow here, you're going to take this job here. No, let's move you here and you here and now, oh, 22. 22 only, okay. I thought it was 24. I could have sworn I said 24. Hmm, now this guy is going to be a missionary. Do we have anyone else we can send out? Hmm. Probably going to send you out as a pioneer to get some work done. Now we can actually load some stuff that we can sell. Right. Yeah, okay, that looks that looks pretty nice. It's time to crank it out. Now this guy is going to 
Uh, shall we convert? I think the village next, right next to us. Either this one or this one. Let's head for the southern one first. Your expedition has reached the village of Aravax. The inhabitants are busy in the surrounding fields as they wave to you happily. You know there is a collection of scalps hanging threateningly from a nearby tree. Oh, um, establish a mission. Judge of New Amsterdam, mission founded in spring 1532, Arak approaching religion with curiosity. Ray. Okay, so there is nothing else up here. I like that, because that means New Amsterdam is pretty much in the corner. We can easily uh, colonize uh, this region, live in peace with the Arawaks. I don't see any issues with that so far. Um, yeah, we can basically head south. Right, and we probably we should talk with these guys. Oh, yeah, they're expert fishermen. I need to remember that. So you're a colonist. You have 100 tools and you have no skills. So we could teach him to become a tobacco planter up here. Uh, yeah. What about the sugar planter? I think it was sugar planter. What is when I cut down this mixed forest? Plains for food. A savanna. Mm, Broadleaf forest prairie. Right, that's this one here. Savanna is from. Uh, Tropical forest, I think. Mixed forest, mixed forest, broadly forest, mixed forest. Yeah, it's always mixed forest. Yeah, as far as I can see. Okay, so I'm not quite sure. We have one savanna field. That's actually the best spot for sugar. Except for that, I don't see anything sugar related scrub forest becomes desert when cleared that's not that great yeah well anyways we're going to build a new settlement here that's the plan that's a pretty good spot we get um the fur resources here we do get another mixed forest the broadleaf forest and we get uh I think a pretty decent food tile, I believe. Could also make it up here. Yeah, but the river is better. I think so. And then we have basically a settlement right here. Yeah, I think I like that. Let's head over there. And I think, actually, can we plow below this city? That's a good question. Spice report, Apache rating. Rex having a Spanish color of Isabella. Again, no, oh, the Spaniards. They do have some troubles. Now we have a schoolhouse, we can actually teach some people. Now the basic idea is... Um, what are you? You're a farmer. No, 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 don't clear a specialty. Right, we can also clear a specialty. Uh, what are we going to build next? That's a good question. A warehouse, definitely. Let's build a warehouse, we can store more stuff. And then uh, we have basically a setup. We can then uh, basically put, for example, the lumberjack into the schoolhouse and you can teach another settler. As long as another settler is present in the settlement that has no specialty, he will teach this settler to become an expert lumberjack. Right now we don't have anybody else. So we have to pick up somebody. Right. Maybe we wanna sell some more tools to the Indians. If he... Yeah, we can actually send the wagon train now. That's a good idea. We can actually wake him up. And let's head southeast and check out which set... No, 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 don't attack. Carefully. Who's actually going to buy that stuff? So, um... Right, we're going to build it here. And I'm going to build a road. Or actually, wait. One second. Yeah, there's a road. We're actually going to... But there's a forest below it, so we can plow it. 
So we are going to uh, plow this field. And we're going to plow this one as well. So we can increase the food production basically. A little bit. Now let's talk with these guys again. I think this were the fishermen. Asked to speak with the chief. Expert farmers. Yeah, they pay well for tools or coats. Right, that's what I wanted to know. So we can actually wake this guy up here and sell the tools here. We actually have to, I think I have to write it down because it's quite tricky to remember all these details. Especially because they change, right? Because they want other stuff the next time we want to buy it. Oh, let's trade with them. Ah, 176. Yeah, give me the indentured servants. And now the free colonists. I'm going to turn you into a missionary. Master carpenters for 320. Perfect. And then we get master blacksmiths. Great. Okay. Perfect. Okay, now we have a road up here. This will increase the ore production to 10. Can we actually build a mine? I don't think there are mines in... No, there are no mines. <laughs> no, we cannot build mines. We can only plow fields, we can chop down forests, and we can build roads. Okay. Uh, I think the next thing we have to do... You're actually a regular colonist, right? Yeah. Colonist. We can actually train him into a lumberjack. That would be a good idea because he's running out of tools soon anyways. And we have two other guys working. So, yeah. What are we going to do now? We have overproduction of wood, basically. We're going to put the, the lumberjack in the schoolhouse. And this fellow here is going to produce lumber. He's he can keep up uh, with the um, carpenter. He's producing 12. The carpenter is using 12 per turn. So we always keep a little bit of a stack in there. In the meantime, this guy is teaching this guy to become a lumberjack. So we can start cranking out uh, experts early on. And yes, we have a little bit of a surplus here. Uh, yeah. Hold on. Uh... No. And what about you? 220. Ah, oh, that's still too much. God damn it. 20 tools. I don't want to lose 20 tools. Okay, 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 okay. No biggie, no biggie. Okay. No problem. We have just to wa wait one more turn in order to do that. Sadly. Okay, so these guys are buying tools. Uh, let's head over to the other tribe over here. Ask to speak with the chief. They're seasonal scouts. They want tobacco, muskets, and cotton. They give us 56. So, you. Oh, the Arak tribe has fallen upon hard times and does not have enough food for a season. Will your brothers of New Amsterdam share the bounty of the harvest with us in the times of need? Uh, okay. We we'll offer you 55 of our 110 food as a sign of friendship. Damn it. There goes our food surplus. Alright, now let's continue exploring. And you can actually right, sell the tools. At least some of them. Yeah, it's a little bit of a micromanagement thing here going on. Yeah, now it works. I should have moved um, the wagon train into the city earlier. Then I could have actually used him for the purpose I actually built him for. In order to store surplus goods. Well, never mind. Now we can do what I said we are going to do. We can train actually this guy to become a lumberjack. And we can sell the surplus of tools to the Indians, to uh, this village down here. Uh, a fairer price would be 650. Yeah, 500 is okay for the tools. Rum, coats, and cloth. 
first. Let's see what they want for first. We shall fill your wagons with 100 furs in exchange for 248. A fair price will be 124. 186. Yeah, we gladly pay 186. I think that's a pretty good price. I should actually check. I should have checked uh, back in Europe first, but I think that's a good price. Okay, now plow the field, please. Thank you. Ah, oh, the tools have become more expensive. That's not good. Not good for us, anyways. Okay, so we have a second second carpenter. We can increase the production by a lot. And now we are facing a first time ever problem. Uh, we have a penalty because we are over our uh, settlement limit. We have a limit of six right now on this difficulty. Basically meaning uh, we suffer a production penalty. So I have to actually move a settler out of the settlement. And now we're fine again. Six is currently maximum. We can improve this by increasing the liberty desire of the settlement. Uh, which is we're going to do in a short while, in a short while. But first and foremost, we have to improve our infrastructure. Now we have a huge uh, production going on in the lumber mill with two carpenters. They will use up the uh, pile of wood we have here, but that's exactly why I built it up. In the meantime, we can hopefully train this guy to become an expert lumberjack and then basically switch him out, uh, switch the next guy in and so much and so forth. Looks good. Uh, yeah, and with this fellow we can keep on um, exploring, see what else we can find here. The Cherokee asked to speak with the chief. We're expert fishermen, we'll gladly trade with you. We bring many of rum, cloth or cigars. Great. Wow. Wh wow. That's a great spot down there. There's a river and furs and ore resources and ooh. I think we're going to build a settlement somewhere here and then another one there. Oh, well, let's see. Well, let's head back to town. Uh, there's another missionary we're going to send him up to the capital. Your expedition has reached the village of Aravox. The inhabitants are busy in surrounding fields as they wave you happily. You know there's a collection of scalps hanging frighteningly from a nearby tree. Establish a mission. Church of Amsterdam, New Amsterdam. Mission founded in spring 1537. Aravox approaching religion with curiosity. So we have a second mission. Basically, um, they will start sending converts to our settlement and join us uh, as Indian settlers, which is quite beneficial, quite beneficial indeed. But uh, I think this is going to be a thing for the next episode. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you wanna know how we are going to continue this Let's Play tomorrow in a new episode. Thanks for watching and see you soon.